Today I am starting day one of my new bowel regimen. Uh, according to the GI doctor, I am to take an enema every morning to tell my colon to wake up and so we get in a regular habit of pooping. Every morning, this is how we're gonna wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey, right? Cock-a-doodle-doo. <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? But, if I could start pooping on a regular basis. He said that your colon is the most active in the morning, but you have to wake it up because it's not active overnight. It's resting. So I'm going to start a daily enema and he said I could just do tap water enemas. I don't actually have to go and buy these um, sodium phosphate, these saline laxative enemas. He said tap water is plenty safe and um, will work just fine. I'm also going to start with a cap full of Miralax every morning and see if I don't, I'm going to start low. I don't want to, he said I could take up to four capfuls a day to just get a regular habit and hopefully that it will help with the upper digestion part of my body because if the colon is full and things aren't moving lower, then you're not going to be able to digest up top because there's nowhere for it to go, which makes a lot of sense, but just something else to add to my daily routine, I guess. But he did give me props because I was a big enema before I went somewhere if I hadn't had a bowel movement in a while because it would make me anxious, you know, pooping your pants. No one wants to poop your pants. So I would just preemptively give myself a cleaning out and he actually praised me and said that was, that was fine. Um, so all those people out there saying, you can't give yourself an enema every day or you use your enemas too much they can go sit in the corner because I got confirmation saying that I was doing a damn good job of trying not to poop my pants. It's been a few weeks since I started my new bowel routine and things are going okay. It's been interesting trying to figure out how much is perfect and too much. Like I started with one cap of Miralax and then I moved it up to two and that was a bit touch and go. So if you're going to try that, then um, just, you know, be prepared with extra panties or something because you never know what's going to happen. But it could also be because I tried black tea and I put three tea bags in a cup because I was so tired and caffeine from coffee just tears up my inside. So I was like, no, I can't do coffee, but I'm tired. So let me try tea. And I regretted it for a few days. It was just like, it's like drinking gasoline. It hurts so bad. But other than that, like the enema, I've had one failed enema, which was really weird because it's like you're walking around. I had to get Michael to school, so I had to leave. And I had an enema full of water up my ass. and. I didn't know if it was going to come out or when it was going to come out. I'm like, no, oh, what's going on, right? <sighs> but I will say that since I started it, I feel better. Uh, we're doing some dietary changes at home also, but just I don't, there's not as much pain and I'm not as bloated. I haven't lost any weight but I'm starting to get my sexy back a little bit. So, you know, that's cool. I know I'm not a doctor and I just tell you guys about what's going on in my life and what has helped me because I'm always at the doctor, it seems. I swear, I learned so much about the human body just by going to the doctor that maybe it would help someone out there. Maybe you are also someone who 
should start doing regular enemas. That said, next week we will not be talking about poop. I have a different topic in mind, so I'll see you guys then. Bye.